my people more compliant. Whatever helps you sleep at night. <gasps> oh? I am tired of listening to this man. We should kill him, here and now. Hmm. Very well. Men, forward! <sighs> well, here goes nothing. That's yeah! right. Come and get me. <sighs> Oh. Ah! Oh, run. I need to get out of here, but there is something I must take care of first. Gumbish. Have we got a new sword? Starfall, which seems to be extremely powerful. Let's do with some healing. This is where you come in. And off you go. That was my traitor murderer. Uh -huh. Charming, listen, calm down and ask yourself this. If I'm a murderer, how come you still got breath to curse me with? Uh -huh. Um, I shot you, sure, but not with real bullets. One with ones designed to make you look dead. What's that now? And you possess, and what? The possessed you to bring such confounded doodads along with you, you might ask. There's no time to explain. Here, swallow this. 
Rolling pops are ready to drop into Cumbridge's mouth before he has the chance to resist. Uh oh, what's going on? Made it into a frog? Same calm, it were it were off before long. At least he's supposed to. <laughs> and my turn now. I guess. Well, down the hatch. Sir! Then on here, I need your medicine. Gah! Here's your Roland. Excuse me. I think it's time we told us the truth, don't you, Leander? He was the robot fellow. You have seen through our artifice, your majesty. Yes. Of course, I have. Roland would never betray us, or at least not so clum clumsily. I have to say, I expected more of him. <laughs> the plan could perhaps have been executed with a little more finesse, I concede. Huh? But then in blazes are you both blathering about, curse you. <laughs> In order to see one's enemy, one must first see one's friends. Is that not what they say? What his majesty means to say is that Roland's betrayal was nothing of the sort. The entire affair was an ab was laboratory stage performance. Snakes alive! You mean to tell me that this whole sorry mess was one of the blasted scoundrels' confounded schemes? Hmm. I might not have shown. I might not have chosen to put it quite that way, but yes. Upon a return from Broadleaf, I cannot help but to notice that a number of prying eyes have been placed around the castle. These devices allow one to supportatory watch over the location remotely through the use of certain prying ma magics. Being familiar with sorcery of this kind, thanks to Queen Nera's surveillance of Hitopolis, they attract my attention right away. Upon sharing my concern with Roland, we investigated together and discovered the presence of an agent of Ding Dong Dell in our midst. Rather than unmask the spy who removed the prying eyes, Roland instead devised a rather ingenious plan to use them to our advantage. The first step in this plan was to make a show of expressing certain disloyal behavior in full view of the eyes. The next was to ensure that our allies too grew suspicious of his motives. This is why we contrived to carry out uh, his dubious his dubious liaison, the ancients, just to the guard, just as the guard was being changed. The rest you already know. This core was sown, and the traitor in our midst was uh, duly ejected. And having witnessed all by all this by means of the prying eyes, the spy approached Roland with an offer he could ill afford to refuse. Forgive me. But uh, the robe fellow you look for is in a revision. The robe figure you took for a sinister visitor from another realm was none other than myself. It was necessary to sow suspicion in the one in the mind of one from who we could expect to be when we could accept uh, a suitable violent reaction. You use me, you play me like a blessed fiddle. Yeah, I rather fear we did. But deep down you knew, did you not? Some part of your sense that he would never come, never have betrayed us. If I may be so bold. Why would you have spent, sent your men to find him? Or did you think I was not aware of your little crusade? Huh? What? You? 
Come, on, come clean with it. Gosh. So does all this mean that Roland is still somewhere in Dignondel? But what's possible reason could he have been going there all for alone? Well now. But allow me to explain, Your Majesty. Oh my goodness! No, his name is Roland, but. <laughs> I'm sorry, Evan, I put you through a lot. <sighs> We're so worried about you, Roland. You're back now, that's the most important thing. Oh, that cheek! Leander told us where you have been and what you've been up to. Okay. You don't offer love a madcap beyond, eh? The least you could have done is invited me along for a ride. Like I want to apologize if I didn't if I didn't have to trick you all, it wouldn't have I wouldn't have done. I'm sorry. <laughs> well you certainly had me going, lad. Hook line a blessed sinker. You had us all going, you horrible man. But I think we still believe in you, somewhere deep down. Did my gifts prove useful in the end? Sure. Sure. Hope picking bugs, frog pills... You sure know how to keep things interesting. And here... And here's what made it all work well. Evan, this is for you. See, the Mark of Kings. Uh huh. Now we can open King's Way and get back into Ding Dong Dell without having to go for all these soldiers. Mousing was desperate to find it too, just like I thought he would be. There might be just a bargaining ship when we need to get him to sign the declaration. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, bro. Now I can finally go back to Ding Dong Dell. Back to the home he stole from me. And so at last the hour had come for Evan to return to Ding Dong Dell and convince King Mausinger to sign the Declaration of Interdependence. Bright eyed, yet heavy hearted, he prepared to take the final steps of the journey he had begun what now seemed a lifetime ago. It was time to bring his dream of a united world one step closer to reality. Did my father and Mausinger hate each other? Sometimes it's just not possible for people to stay friends. Sometimes the circumstances just won't allow it. I can't believe that father would have hated someone or been suspicious of them simply because of their species. But then, why else would Mausinger do what he did? I suppose he was afraid. Afraid? Of what? That the great man he dedicated his life to was using him and will one day cast him aside. Think about it. What could be more frightening than being discarded by someone you love? Not that I know all the details, of course. Right. Aaron, there's something I need to talk to you about. Before we ask Ding Dong Dell to sign the declaration, I need to know how its people are faring on the Mousinger's rule. I should also like to know what they thought of my father. Perhaps they might be able to help me understand why he was murdered. 
I never once considered their thoughts of or feelings when I was their ruler. It's high time that I find out what they truly think. Chapter 8 Land of my fathers. All right. Yeah, let me run you through how we're going to deal with Trell Ding Dong Dell. The cross on this map mark areas where the troops are most heavily concentrated. As you can see, a direct approach of uh, by the river would be suicidal. There's no way we get the uh, close without being spotted. So we use the zeppelin to make take us over the river and set us down somewhere quieter. From there, we'll make our way via the least heavily guarded areas to the entrance of the King's Way. It's a good thing Sip gave us the old girl, huh? She's as quiet as a mouse, even with the engine full, engine full ahead. Which is not to say the caution... Which is not to say that caution will not be required. We cannot ri take the risk of flying too close to the city. A roundabout approach will still be required. <laughs> so the old sky pirate full frontal assault ain't the order of the day then, eh? Doesn't look like it. This will be a straight in, no messy job by the sound of it. Mm. Alright, let's, re ma let's make ready to leave. Let's just go for it. We cannot afford that. Hey. We need like two thousand more. It's all low. Put the marks of king just here. 
Look at that. Kingsway, here we come. Wow. Ding dong dell, huh? Looks uh, like something out of a picture book. Mm. It feels different from when I was last here. Well. The town appears peaceful, and yet one can't help but notice a distinct lack of Grimalkin. Mm. They all jumped ship and set sail for safer shores, I shouldn't wonder. No. Unlikely. Mousinger has he had the, the citizenry under close uh, scr scrutiny ever since the coup. If they didn't get away fast, they didn't get away at all. I heard that all been moved to some kind of underground slum somewhere, although I don't know much of much more than that. Blimey. That sounds miserable. All right. Well, if there is no Grimalkin left to speak with, we should have to see if what the mice and rats have to do. Only if you and Roland will agree not to remove your hoods. You both are too well known here for comfort. <sighs> not exactly the... It's not exactly the world's best disguise, but I guess it'll have to do for now. Oi! Hey, less of your complaining. It was the best we could rustle up in short notice. <laughs> So you say life under King Mousinger? Well, I don't know what it's like for you, Mr. Grimalkin. But for mouse like me, things are completely different nowadays. I mean, when I was younger, we were picked, we were picked on all the time. My mother told me I should never trust a Grimalkin or even become friends with one. I think that's what all mouse mothers told their children back then. Still, I don't hold a grudge against King Leonard or anything. That's all in the past now. It's time to move on. That's positive. Yeah. Mousinger's policies are putting mouse kind first at last. They're giving us a they're giving us a real boost. I suspect the Grimalkin aren't too happy about it all. But still. They've had a time in the sound. Now we're all offered and now we've all offered enough. All suffered enough. I think it's only fair that the tables are turned. It's amazing to think how different things might be now if King Leonard hadn't fallen ill and passed away when he did. Yeah. Uh, life here in Dingondel has changed beyond recogniz recognition since King Mousinger took over. I mean, King Leon had always said that he was committed to equality, but never really trusted him. You wouldn't either if you seen the way the Grimalkin used to treat us mice. Now we're finally getting what we deserve, and it's all King Mousinger is doing. He's our hero. If I may be so bold. It certainly seems that Mousinger's role is no unwelcome thing for the majority of mouse kind. Mm -hmm. And why would it be? They're finally getting a preferential treatment after all these years. Mm. So let me see if I've got this straight. It used to be the mice and the rat who were discriminated against. 
But now the tables have turned and the Grimalkin are the ones receiving... are on the receiving end. Mm. It seems so, yes. Get for that day. Folks uh, ain't never so different as they... Folks ain't never so different as they're the same. I, I never knew the things were so hard for a mouse kind. I knew nothing about my people, nothing at all, and to think I called myself their king. Oh, Evan. I'd like to hear what the Grimalkin have to say for themselves, but there aren't exactly many around to ask. Hmm. But look at this, a gang of idlers. If you're not busy, can you come give me a hand? Yeah, what is it? Um, uh, what exactly is it you need uh, help with? Oh, oh see, so we're listening, where are you? That must mean you're keen to help. How lovely of you. Huh? Oh, well, I... Uh, don't be shy. Now, here you go. It's already in sand. What's this? It's one of my famous sardine sandwiches, of course. I need to deliver it to a Grimalkin called Shadow. There was, well, an incident, shall we say. It's probably hiding somewhere, poor lad. But he won't have gone far. It's a cat fellow. Black with long tail. You can't miss it. He's always waggling it about the place. He's, uh... He's paid, all, he's paid already, so you just need to give him the package. Man, what are we, errand boys? Yeah. Whatever you are, deliver the goods and come back here and I'll see your reward. How does that sound? Something tells me we don't have much of a choice. Alright, we'll go and find Shadow for you. Ain't too many cat folks about, huh? We'll soon spot uh, him, I'm sure. But we have a minimap. He doesn't. Well, that's certainly a long black tail. Excuse me, it wouldn't be the Bichelle by any chance, would you? <laughs> yeah, well, I wasn't doing anything, I promise. Have mercy on an honest Grimalkin. Howdy do! No need to panic, pal. We just, uh, we're just a sardine sandwich delivery boys, ain't it? What? Sandwich? For me? Yes. Yes, Crumble asked us to give it to you. Oh. Well, I feel I thought that those awful soldiers had caught up with me. I wanted to ask you something. How are things for Grimalkin and Ding Nodel these days? Vis visitors from abroad, eh? We don't see many of you a lot lately. With what the... Uh, what with the borders being closed down and everything. Hmm. Things have been more than a little rough for... for we cat folk ever since Mousing you took over. Why, I... I was only out buying a sardine sandwich, and those soldiers started look, looking uh, at me askins. I had no choice but to run, really. So you came and hid here without you even uh, taking what you bought with you. Yeah. Of course I did. We've been chased out of our homes, driven into the slums. They even posted a sol soldier at the sewer entrance to watch, all, watch our comings and goings. We only risk coming out for food, but it's not worth getting nobbed for. Golly. So that's why there are no Grimalkin in the town anymore. Oh. What I really wanted was some nice fresh fish, but one of those sandwiches is next best is the next best thing, I suppose. Anyway, I can't stand around here talking to you. Those soldiers could be along in a minute. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. Perhaps uh perhaps I'll come Perhaps I'll see you soon, see you some other time. Yeah, okay, goodbye. Garden, run off. Craig, I suppose we better get back and see old Crumbles, eh? Hmm. 
Welcome. Hey, welcome back, my lovelies. Well, did you carry out my little errand? Mm -hmm. Yes, we found Shadow and gave, gave him a sandwich. Oh, wasn't that just lovely for you? Ever so sorry to, ever so sorry to impose upon you like that. Now I said you, I said I give you a little reward, didn't I? So here you go, a sardine sandwich. What? Kidding, ain't you? We still have one of these. <laughs> you won't be complaining once you had a bite, my dear. My sardine sandwiches are the best in the land. We'll be back for more before you, before long. You'll see. So the Grimalkin are all living in an underground slum, and there are guards posted at the entrance. Shadow said it was in the old sewers, didn't he? And if he made it out, it must be a way down there that the guards aren't watching. Blimey. Imagine being trapped uh, down like uh, that. It must uh, being like it must be like being in prison. We cannot risk being spotted by the guards. We are to visit the sons, we must make our way make our way there undetected. Alright. Well, let's do just that then. There's a sign here that says danger. Entry for it due to monster infestation. They're a bit high level, but I think we might manage. this check after oh there we died Those are properly nasty. The layout. No, okay, they are not the same as in the first game. There was no path over here. It's talking about that weed, ain't it? Stuff that smells so lovely like a flower. Yeah. 
no. Doesn't say anything about the flower. Because it did say flower and not flavor, right? The stuff that smells all lovely like a flower, yeah. Nothing like that we have. Still don't know what that spell do. Oh yeah, this pipe. Huh? What's this? Oh. I think it must be a statue of one of my ancestors. Yes, King Tom. His braces. Let me tell me they're important. Why don't we try lighting them? Hey. You remember the Kindle spell? I thought you're back at the factory, right? Number 15 is carved into the base of the baser. Numbers carved into them must relate to how long they stay lit for. So we need to try to light the, them all before the time runs out. 15 it says. Yeah, this is pretty. 